Riding high in the ranks, some local skaters, underdogs no more. In this week's Focusing on the Future, our Wakisha Bailey introduces us to the team that is really on a roll. The Philly Roller Derby Juniors, a tough team playing a tough sport. And to be in this club, it comes with quirky names. Hi, I'm Devoy to Mercy. Also known as Coach Faith Courtright. Hi, I'm Coach Teflon Donna. That's her derby name. Coach Beth Mass, these two have been coaching many of these players since they were six years old and in pigtails like Elena Lou. I saw all these really strong women just like beating each other up. I was like, you want me to do that? What? From the sweet pink helmet to a black one with the letters bad blood, Elena tells us derby is where they feel accepted. I feel like as a gender queer player, I get a lot of discouraged in like the sports community. So I feel like here I can be strong and I get to play with everyone. I get to play with people from different like ethnicities, different ages, different genders, like it's all open and I really appreciate that because like no one's excluded. Derby has a place for everybody and everybody has a place in Derby. In this high contact sport that's mostly played and run by females, males play a different role, like fighter Ty who started as a referee watching his sisters play. At only eight years old, he was the first wave of boys to skate for Philly Roller Derby Juniors. The team promotes gender equality and acceptance with jerseys labeled with players' respective gender pronouns. For me, it's really important because um, I started testosterone six months ago. Before then, Ethan Garrity was frequently misgendered. She's over there, and it was just really hard for me because, like, all of a sudden, like, I can't, like, I'm not focusing on the game. I'm focusing on how the other players are perceiving me. With everyone's head in the game. Good, nice hold. And there's only one title these contenders are trying to defend this summer, and that's the Junior Roller Derby Association champions. Now that we've had that championship title, it's a little nerve wracking because we feel like we've got a giant bullseye <laughs> on us, and that everybody's coming to beat Philly. With this all star lineup of some of the best athletes in roller derby, we are already looking at winners. You might not be the fastest, you might not be the strongest. As quirky or as interesting as we all are as human beings, it works great here. Wakisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia. Wow, boy, are they strong. There are so many outstanding young people who deserve special recognition. You can head over to CBSPhiladelphia.com if you'd like to tell us about somebody who you think deserves a special shout out. Those derby names are hilarious. They are. And it's no <laughs> joke. I have a friend who plays on a derby team, and she always has bruises all over her body. It's it's in it is intense. It's totally intense. Yeah, yeah. We have to come up with our own derby names, though. Mm -hmm. We'll have to I'll start work brainstorming. On it. Work yeah. on it. It's a good workout, though.